It's okay, Greg. You can look. I'm sorry. Look at what? Oh, come on. The blonde with the legs and the rack. You had to see that. <laughs> oh, her. I <gasps> didn't notice. <laughs> it's okay, Greg. I'm secure in our relationship. I mean, I know that men are visually stimulated. It's a biological fact. All right. She's pretty. So if you were single, that'd be someone you'd go out with? I'm not single. But if? Okay, if I were single, maybe she'd be somebody I'd go out with. That's a man, Greg. <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth all that just to set me up? Yep, do it again in a heartbeat. Hey, Jeff! <laughs> what are you doing? Random act of kindness. Meter maid's coming. Oh. Kind of nice. Hey, just trying to be a good neighbor. That's not your car? No, just a random act of kindness. Well, it's against the law. You can't put quarters in other people's meters. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How is it against the law to help somebody? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> oh, but look at this car. Look, it's got a baby seat in the back, and right now the mother's probably struggling with a crying, hungry baby, you know, and she's stuck in line because somebody's writing a check for $1.98. Don't you hate that? I hate that. And, you know, she knows the meter's running out, and she's just praying for a miracle, and you, A. Semetsky, is it Amy? Ann? Anyway, you and I could do that miracle. Don't think so. Wow, now I know what the A stands for. You can't put quarters in other people's meters. Yes, I can, A. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Random act of kindness. Tom, I don't. All right, now I'm writing you a ticket. Random act of kindness. That's another one. Karma. Random act of kindness. Is that another? Nice handwriting. A tickets. She gave me eight tickets. Ow! Well, eight tickets. You're lucky we talked her out of the assault charge. I didn't assault her. I gave her a hug. Yeah, I know. Random act of kindness, and thank God meter maids don't carry guns. Well, I'm not paying these because they're wrong. Darmy, you have to pay them. Excuse me, even you said that the law was wrong. I know, but you can't fight City Hall. Hi. I'm here to fight City Hall. Third floor. Thank you. Number 37. Yes, that's me. Number 37. Hello. I'm Dharma Finkelstein Montgomery, and I am here to fight City Hall. I'm sorry. I got these tickets, and Second I just... Second floor, room 206. Uh, and they'll take care of everything? Second floor, 206. Thank you. 54. 54. No, 54. That's me. Hi, I'm Dharma Finkelstein Montgomery, and uh, I got these tickets. Cash check or charge? Oh, no, I can't pay them because Sixth I... Sixth floor, room 612. <laughs> okay, and they'll take care of everything? Sixth floor, room 612. God. <laughs> 129, 129. Okay, hi, yeah, 129, that's me. Um, I got these tickets, and I'm not going to pay them. Reason for financial hardship? What? No, 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 no. There's no financial hardship. Second floor, room 206. No, 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 no. No, 206 is the cash checker charge lady, and I was already there. Do you have your receipt? No, she didn't give me a receipt. Eighth floor, room 891. Oh, I don't need a duplicate receipt. I am here to change an unjust law. <laughs> Building permit? I don't even have a No, you see what it was? It was just a random act. <laughs> no, I'm not homeless. I just have these tickets. Cash check or charge? No! <sighs> you okay, Pete? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, Valentine's Day's coming up. What are you and Dharma gonna do? We'll go away for the weekend, or maybe just, you know, go out for a nice dinner. That sounds nice. 
Can you hand me that uh, affidavit? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> What's going on with you and that girl? What's her name? Eileen? There is no Eileen. I made her up. <laughs> but you said you, you met her parents and, and that they hated you. They would have. <laughs> hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, well, let's see. I got, a, I got a fishing license. I can open a bakery. And um, <gasps> as soon as I get this puppy notarized, I'm legally blind. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? Oh, you pet. I, I am okay. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'll uh, make you some tea. Oh no, you're no, you're gonna make the tea and then you'll tell me I gotta go to a different husband to get the cup. <laughs> Sit down. I know, and then you'll call my number two million and four, two million and four. <laughs> hey, where's Dharma? I gotta talk to her. Can't talk to her right now. She's insane. Oh, wait. So what's new? My life is empty and has no meaning. I asked you what's new. Just leave me alone, Jane. If it's any consolation, my life sucks, too. Yeah? That does kind of help. Listen, Dr. Laura hung up on me, so let me ask you. <laughs> if your boyfriend is finally up for his parole, and he deliberately blows the hearing, he's found someone else, am I right? Probably. Yeah. Great. There goes my Valentine's Day conjugal visit. How did you get another ticket? Uh, well, I thought I was only going to be in there for a few minutes, but then when I came out, it was right there on my car, because no one put any quarters in my meter. <laughs> now, here's the really funny part. Look who gave it to me. A. Sametsky. For a while, for a split second there, I actually thought I was going to go on a shooting spree, <laughs> but the line for the gun permits was too long, and I totally get why. It's not like we don't know each other. Did sleep together once. But it wasn't great. Didn't make us barf. All right, let's get married. <laughs> Dharma, what, why don't you just pay the tickets and forget about it? No, never, because I didn't do anything wrong. It's the law that's wrong. I just can't get anybody to listen to me. Well, you want to fight the law, you should probably just go to the Board of Supervisors meeting. They hear public complaints once a week. <laughs> you knew this? <laughs> and you, you, you didn't tell me? I thought everybody knew. Everybody knows that, right, Pete? <laughs> Pete? They were like brownies, but they didn't have nuts. They had raisins. Let me get this straight. You want to change the official San Francisco treat from rice -a to that thing your mother used to make that you don't remember the name of? Yes. We'll form a committee right away and get started on that. Thank you. Next. I would like books with the following words removed from the public library. <laughs> Rectum. <laughs> Sphincter. <laughs> tushy. Next! <laughs> My name is Xandar Gamma Gamma 3. <laughs> and I bring you a message from the planet Gamma Gamma 3. Greetings, people of Next! <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Dharma Montgomery, and first of all, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate how difficult your job is here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I guess most of the requests you get are kind of out there, um, but my problem is very simple. I am a parking meter fairy. <laughs> and all I can... That's it! I've had a few lunatics coming in here week after week 
The airport's too far from my house. Just because mom's dead doesn't mean we're not carpooling. <laughs> look, look, I found Tony Bennett's heart. <laughs> well, you know what? I quit. You can all go. <laughs> Let me through. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. 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 So, what's the big surprise? Well, uh, Dharma wants to tell you herself. Oh. Greg, do I hear the pitter-patter of little feet? No, no, you don't. <laughs> you know what I hear a lot? <laughs> I hear this metallic hum. Kind of sounds like a little factory that makes metal shoes. <laughs> No, Finkelstein, she meant a baby. Dharma's having a baby? No, she's not having a baby. And that's your big announcement. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for coming. Should we wait for Pete? I haven't been able to reach him. I can't find Jane either. Oh, well, uh, let's just get started. I have an announcement. We heard. Big deal. <laughs> you told them? I, I, go ahead. Okay. Well, I guess you probably heard that the guy on the Board of Supervisors died and they're having a special election to replace him, right? Well, guess who decided to run? Greg? No! <laughs> Me. Oh, Dharma, I'm sorry. I made a genital-based assumption. <laughs> My fellow gyno-American, please forgive me. I forgive you. And don't ever call me that again. Anyway, I was just trying to change a silly little parking meter law, but before that guy's head even hit the floor, I knew that the universe was trying to tell me something, you know? Get involved, Dharma, make a difference. Oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> we have our own little candidate. Edward? I think someone here needs a campaign contribution. Well, how about a hundred? You're not taking me seriously. Oh, good for you, dear. Drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Don't touch their money, Dharma. It's a deal with the devil. Are you calling us the devil? You only want her elected so she'll wage war to support your military-industrial complex. <laughs> San Francisco Board of Supervisors does not wage war. Of course not. They send the young boys. Where have all the flowers gone? Answer me that. You smoke them, Finkelstein. All right, now there's no need for us to raise our voices. I mean, my goodness, it's not as if she's going to win. Well, it's not about winning, Mother. It's about participating and making your voice heard. Excuse me? You don't think I can win? I think... You should win, if all things were fair, but uh, people like you are better than the kind of people who win. I mean... I know what you mean. No, I, uh, no let me try I again. Stop I... now, son. I can't believe that you don't think that I'm a serious candidate. No, I believe you're serious. I think you just don't understand how difficult this is. Dad, t tell her what it takes to win a seat on the Board of Supervisors. $78,400, at least. That's what the last clown cost me. <laughs> well, I've got news for all of you. Not only am I going to win, I don't need your money to do it. Because I'm going to take my message to the people, wherever they are. The, the shopping malls, the supermarkets, the movie theaters, those weird little stores where you get lottery tickets and beef jerky. That is where you will find San Francisco's next city supervisor, Dharma Freedom Finkelstein Montgomery. <laughs> oh, $78,000, and now he's dead. <laughs> so you think we did the right thing? Yeah, I do. So how about a kiss? What am I, your whore? <laughs> I've got my application, my supporting documentation, and my filing fee. All I need you to do is just put your stamp right there and I'm officially a candidate for the Board of Supervisors. Second floor, room 206. What? Room 206, second floor. All right. You know what? Why don't we play a little game here? Okay? 
Let's say I take these documents and I go to room 206, second floor, and then they send me to room 514, and then they send me to 901, and then they send me to France where they wear the fancy pants. <laughs> but finally, I'm a candidate. And I run, and I run, and I run, and woohoo, I win! First day on the job. Good morning, Supervisor Dharma. Nice briefcase. Thank you, my husband gave it to me. What would you like to do today, Supervisor Dharma? Well, I think I would like to fire my friend, Mr. D. Abbott. <laughs> Comprende? Good luck. Hi, I'm Dharma Montgomery and I'm running for the Board of Supervisors. Hi, I'm Dharma Montgomery and... Hi, I'm Dharma... Hi, I'm Dr. Montgomery. Please don't slam the door in my face. I'm running for the Board of Supervisors, and I would just like you to take a moment to listen to what I have to say. And if you agree with it, I would really appreciate your vote on Election Day. Vajnik? I'm sorry? Vajnik Papas Dobny? And if you agree, I would really appreciate your vote on Election Day. What is your position on child care? Oh, I definitely think the government should play a role in child care. Yeah. Great. Justin, this nice lady's gonna watch you for a while while mommy goes to the grocery store. Oh, uh, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, 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 lady! And as your supervisor, it would be my job to help you in any way that I can. Oh, terrific. Um, that sounds great. Okay, uh, you know what would help? Huh? In about ten minutes, there's gonna be a lot of policemen here. <laughs> uh, what you could do is come in and sit with me on my couch and say, we've been here all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have I come at a bad time? <laughs> you were right, Greg. What was I thinking? You can't give up after one bad day. Oh, Greg, you have no idea what it's like out there. People won't even open the door long enough to take a flyer. And you know what they do if you slip it under the door? They slip it back. Sometimes with spit on it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Larry. What's up? No, I'm pretty sure you called me. <laughs> hi, Abby. What? Oh, turn on Channel 7. I'll, we'll call you right back. While the special election to fill the late Supervisor Dawson's seat is some weeks off, a few candidates have already begun campaigning. Um, well, I'll be honest with you. I'm a newcomer at this, but I love this city, and... I'm just going to go out there and knock on doors and tell people that Dharma Montgomery is someone who cares about them and who wants to make a difference in their lives. Oh. <laughs> no, honey, that was good. I feel that as the widow of Supervisor Dawson, well, kind of the widow, because he was definitely leaving his wife for me. <laughs> I'm like the heir to the throne. <laughs> Greetings. I mean you no harm. Well, this certainly will be a special election. Now let's take a look at our weekend weather. That's it? It's just me and those two? You got a shot. Oh, I've got a <laughs> No, I totally agree, Larry. Xandar is gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> oh, can you hang on one sec? Okay. Improve your karma, vote for Dharma. <laughs> oh, hey, kitty. What's shaking? Yeah, I know. It does look like I got a shot at it, doesn't it? Shocked the $50 panties right off your butt, didn't I? <laughs> hey, Dharma. Guess what we did for Valentine's Day? Oh, now you want to make a donation to my campaign. How much are we talking about? Uh, 78 grand was yesterday's price, my friend. Uh, Maybe we should come back and tell her a little later, sugar. Sugar? What am I here, whore? <laughs> <laughs>